You busy? What's up? Just wanted to drop these off before I leave. Where are you going? I have an appointment with a doctor. Something wrong? No, no, it's Devaney's doctor, the plastic surgeon. Oh, anything new with that? Yes, she's all set to go to Switzerland. So you are going to give her the check? Yeah, I am. You OK with that? No. I would still prefer to pay her medical expenses and their living expenses as they come in. Just tell her that's the way it has to be. Yeah, well, I've thought about that, Ridge, and then I look at it from her point of view. What do you mean, her point of view, Thorne? You're the one shelling out the bucks here. Yeah, but she is the one going under the knife. It's not going to be pleasant, Ridge. Look at it from her point of view. She's going to be there totally alone in a foreign country with close to a year of surgery in front of her. I mean, frankly, I can't blame her for feeling insecure. If I bail out, she's in big trouble. No, I, I, I would feel a lot better if I just write her a check and let her pay her own bills. It'd be a lot cleaner that way. That gives you a bad feeling? I'm not comfortable with it, no. What I told you the other day, have you thought any more about it? What's that? About Devaney. That she's falling in love with you. in thought? Yes. Anything I should know about? No, nothing serious. I, I was just uh, thinking about Thorne and what a nice, remarkable fellow he's turned out to be. You mean all this that he's doing for Devaney Dixon? Mm-hmm. Started out as just a gracious gesture on his part. Of course, he's come to understand that these charitable things really can take their toll. It's become very complicated. In many ways. How so? I don't know what it is. I, there's just something about her that's unsettling. I wish it weren't so, but it is. Well, it is odd that she's asked to have all this money up front. It's more than that. But you can't quite put your finger on it. Oh, I guess it's just my suspicious nature. No. No, I've had some of the same concerns. Why don't you tell me what it is that disturbs you? Sleeping pills. Sleeping pills and alcohol. I love you, Thorne. I don't want to do this. If I thought that you could love me too, that there wasn't anyone else, this Donna Logan. But I saw her in your arms. No. I should have done this a long time ago. You're a forester. You're just like your mother. You would make a fool out of me, just like she did. Get the money, Angela. Get the money. And then, then you can help precious Thorn remember his past. Yes. Yes. That's exactly what I'll do. Devaney Dixon before her facial burns.
Yeah, I've thought about it, Rich. And? I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe Devaney is becoming attached to me. Could be the source of all your problems. Well, I, I certainly didn't encourage it. Oh, come on, Thorne. Just by what you're doing for the lady, that's enough to encourage it. What? I'm not supposed to help a person because she might fall in love with me? I didn't say that. It's just that you have to be careful. Well, after I give her the check today, I may never be seeing her again. Which I suppose would be for the best. Look, anyway, I have to go. The doctor's gonna be expecting me. I'll see you later. Thorne. It's a hell of a thing you're doing. I hope you're not regretting it. No, I'm not. Good. I'll see you later. Disturbs me. One day, a total stranger appears in Thorne's life. Now, granted, she's had a terrible accident, and he's at a point in his life where he needs to help someone. So he makes the gesture to help alleviate this terrible tragedy. And she accepts it, and she's touched by it naturally. Well, Thorne goes ahead and he makes all of the arrangements now for having this plastic surgery done in Switzerland. There's only one thing that has to be accomplished. She has to give them a photograph of herself before the accident. So she gives him a photograph. Only it turns out not to be a picture of herself. That's the first red flag for me. And now here we are, virtually on the eve of her departure. And what does she do? She tells Thorne she wants all of the money for the operation and living expenses in advance. Under the guise that once she's over there, He'll lose interest. You know, the old out of sight of the boy. That's the second red flag for me. Still, this young lady does have her own point of view. Yes, she's vulnerable. And I'm sure she's concerned that she's going to be dependent on a virtual stranger. I understand all of that. I'm sure she's even frightened. And from that point of view, she's not being irrational. But still. I agree. I think something odd is going on, too. I just wish it were over. <laughs> and maybe it will be today. Today? Well, the computer enhancement that uh, Dr. Schnell is doing, it's going to be ready. So, you'll have your picture of Devney before the accident. Yes, and it'll be done. And Thorne can give her the money, and she can leave. And I'll tell you, I'll be very relieved. I'm just calling Dr. Schnell. Dr. Schnell. Hello, Dr. Schnell. This is Stephanie Forrester. How are things progressing? Well, I'd say we're about an hour away from an accurate picture of Miss Dixon. Well, that's wonderful. If you like, you're welcome to come over and see it. Yes, uh, I'll leave right now. Thank you. Come in. Hello, doctor. So tell me, how is it going? See for yourself. We're about to get another change in the picture. Really? You see, when the uh, tone sounds, the vertical lines will change and a more developed picture will appear. We are getting there. I'm certain I'll have a finished composite today. Oh, uh, by the way, your mother called. She'll probably be stopping by. Ah, here comes the new picture now. there, aren't we? Well, this is, this is amazing, Doctor. We're actually going to see what Devaney looked like before the accident.
only it wasn't true about Thorn. If only this woman meant nothing to him. God, how I wish that were true. But it's not. I saw them together in her living room. Be sure. I've got to be certain. Logan. Logan. I gather you're here for the estimate. Yes. As I told you, Thorne, these are only her medical expenses. This does not include Devonie's room and board once she's well enough to leave the hospice or her airfare. I've taken that into account. I hope you'll be pleased with the results. No, it's, it's Devonie. She's the one who needs to be pleased, not me. Which brings me to another question. What's that? Have you told Devonie what we're doing with the computer? Not yet. She'll need to be told, you know. I thought we had decided we would both sit her down once we have the picture, show her what she used to look like, and then allow her to make any changes she wanted. Yes, well, obviously, we need to do that in the next few days before she leaves for Europe. You say another hour or so? If that. God, I am curious about this woman. What did she look like? Who is she? Really? Hello? Donna Logan? Yes? You don't know me, but I am a friend. You are? I need to ask you a question. It's about Thorn Forrester. Thorn? Yes. I need to know if... if he's in love with you. Wait a minute, who are you? Please, just answer my question. Brooke, is this you? No, because you wouldn't pull a stunt like this. Please, just tell me. Is Thorne in love with you? All right, whoever this is. Donna, I don't want to harm anyone. But I've got to know. It's so important to me. For the love of God, please. Please answer me. Look, Thorne and I aren't involved in a love affair, if that's what you mean. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Thank you. Thank you, Donna Logan. He... He doesn't love her. He doesn't love her. Who is it? It's me, Devaney Thorne. Tell Dr. Johnson I'll call him back. I have someone waiting. Ms. 
Parsley. Yes, Dr. Chanel. I'm sorry, I'm not quite ready for you yet, and I do have an emergency consultation. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, I understand perfectly. You do realize how curious I am. Mm, about Debbie Dixon, yes. We're all very curious and excited. I'll let you know when I have a picture. Should be very soon now. Thank you. I'll wait right outside. busy. There's a board meeting at the bank tonight. Mother going with you? No, no, she's not. She's uh, pretty involved in this Devaney Dixon business. Where is she now? She's at the doctor's office. Thorne's over there now, too. Yes, apparently this uh, computer-generated picture of Devaney will be ready tonight. Why is Mother so interested in all this? She has some pretty strong instincts about this young woman. I hope you didn't get on her about that now. No, no, I didn't. Frankly, I'm having some of the same feelings about her. You get the feeling there's something in the wind, too, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we'll know tonight. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, I can see it. Can I get you something? A coffee? I could make some if you'd like. No, I... no, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. I have so much to say to you. These, these past few days, I haven't really been myself. I know I've just treated you horribly. No, you have been under a lot of pressure. I realize that. That's no excuse. I owe you an apology. At least hey, that. Hey, look, the important thing is that you're feeling better. Yes. I feel so much better. Well, you're going to need that. And you're going to need all the positive feelings you can muster up. Especially in the next few months now. I know that. And because of you, I do feel positive. I feel as though I could do anything, Thorn. Anything. Well, that's great, Devaney. That's just wonderful. Look, I have something for you. This is a check for all your expenses plus your medical bills. It should take care of the entire cost of the medical procedure. Oh, Thorne. This is a whole new start for you. And I want you to hang on to that and never stop believing it. And if you ever feel down or depressed or like this isn't worth it or you're thinking about quitting, my number is right inside here, both my personal home number and my number at work. You call me, you hear? Don't hesitate. I've been so wrong about you. So desperately wrong. This is going to work out just fine for you, Devaney. I, I can feel it. I, I know it in my heart. It already has worked out just fine. I can feel that in my heart. Glad you waited. It's gone a lot faster than I thought. I'm getting definite, discernible features. You really are.
is impossible. 